Take us into the production meeting of what to expect, everything that's discussed leading into that game, including Taylor Swift. Hi, DP. Uh, yeah, we, we started talking, gosh, I guess, I guess really a week ago today of, you know, does Taylor show up in New York? And if so, how do you strike the balance? And then I think it was, Dan, either late Monday or Tuesday when the ratings from the Chiefs-Bears blowout came out, and you saw that the viewership with the age group that would be the Swifties, women 18 to 49, it was still higher than normal, and the game was terrible. So you thought there might be a factor. As the week went on, the NFL bought in and all that stuff. So you had an idea that you'd have a different audience. My approach and our producer, Rob Hyland, we, we talked about this a lot during the week. We kind of landed, landed the plane here. We've got an average of about 20 million viewers every week. you, you got to be loyal to those viewers, but just welcome in the people who might be watching, might be sampling the game, and just try to find a balance. Are there too many Taylor Swift shots? Are there not enough? You could debate that all week, depending on which side of the aisle you're on. So we just try to strike a balance, not let it take away from the game, and thankfully we ended up having a pretty good game. Anything that comes close to that? the surrealness of it. You mean the Taylor factor? Yeah, I mean, there's celebrities there. Yeah. Rogers is back in the building. Uh, right. I mean, this is a different game that you're calling. I don't know if you've had anything that was similar. No, no, because you could truly make the argument, and this is no disrespect to the reigning MVP of the league, who is the face of the league, I think, right now, in Patrick Mahomes. I mean, you can't go a quarter watching the NFL without seeing Mahomes hawking something, right, and selling something on a commercial. But the two people of the most intrigue and interest in the stadium were sitting in suites in Aaron Rodgers and Taylor Swift. So that, that was a little different. We've done games where presidents or celebrities or big stars from other sports are sitting there. But I think that the phenomenon that we saw this summer with Taylor Swift combined with the phenomenon we saw this summer with Aaron Rodgers coming to the Jets, but those two are an intersection that I've never <laughs> been around for a game. Not, not at all. So it kind of made for a cool night. 